Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna cover how you can build your custom cyber deck for, you know, it's multifunctional and for backup. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. I'm going to start by saying, you know, what are, what are the best waterproof cases for a cyber deck? For building a custom cyber deck, several waterproof cases are recommended for durability and protection. So here are some of the best options. You have the Pelican cases, right? Widely recognized for their robustness and waterproof features. Pelican cases are a popular choice among cyber deck builders. They offer various sizes and configurations to fit different needs. You have seahorse cases. These cases are similar in quality to Pelican cases, but are often more affordable. They also provide 3D models of their cases, which can be helpful for designing your cyber deck layout. You have SKB i-Series waterproof case. This case is another strong option providing excellent protection and waterproofing. It's priced around 80 bucks and available on eBay. You have the tough case, T-U-F-F, uh, C-A-S-E, Tough Case. Uh, it's mentioned in a Hackaday article, Tough Case provides a rugged and waterproof solution for cyber decks. Custom modifications like water jetted face plates can enhance their functionality without compromising waterproof integrity. You have Joby C. Paul Waterproof Case. Although more, inex uh, although more expensive at around 240 bucks, this case offers high quality waterproofing and is suitable for more premium business. Builds. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how you uh, can build a custom cyber deck, right? Here are some key steps. Take this into consideration. Now, uh, one, choose your main computer component, right? A Raspberry Pi is a popular and affordable option for cyber decks. Two, select a display. Common choices include small LCD screens or repurposed laptop screens. Consider factors like size, resolution, and whether you want a touch screen. Three, pick your input devices. This typically includes a compact pack keyboard and some form of pointing device like a trackball or small mouse for decide on a case design. Uh, options include, again, repurposing a rugged case or toolbox, 3D pin, uh, printing, uh, uh, you know, a custom enclosure, uh, 3D printing a custom enclosure, building from wood, metal, or other materials. And then you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna plan your power supply, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later. So this could be a battery pack for portability or a power adapter for stationary use. Now, add any additional components like USB hubs for extra ports, audio components like speakers and headphone jack, additional storage, specialty modules like software defined radio, okay? Uh, and then you're gonna wanna design the internal layout. Arrange components to fit efficiently in your chosen case. Assemble the hardware connecting all components and then you're gonna wanna install your operating system. Now, there's a whole bunch of blah, 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 blah there, right? Linux distributions are popular for Cyberdex, so take that into account. Configure your software and test all functions. The exact process will vary based on your specific design needs, uh, but these are the general steps to create a custom Cyberdex, right? The key is to start with a basic functional design and then customize and expand as desired, okay? Um, but do not hack a satellite without, you know, I, I don't, I don't condone that, okay? So. What are some creative ways to power a cyber deck on the go? So you can uh, have a USB power delivery, the PD, power banks. These can provide up to 100 uh, W of power source USB-C, making them suitable for powering more demand cyber decks. You can use USB PD modules to request specific power profiles and then use DC-DC converters to generate the required voltages for your components. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. So then you have custom battery packs. For higher power requirements, you can create custom lithuanium uh, or lithium. <laughs> lithuanium. You know, I don't know why these words be getting to me, man. You know, so let's try that again. Custom Lithuanium, custom Lithuanium or Life POV 12V battery packs for the DC 5x5.5x2.5 millimeter uh, input slash output connectors. This can be paired with a Pico PSU 160W or 300W to power mini ITX systems. You have laptop batteries if your cyber deck is based on a laptop motherboard. You can utilize the existing battery 
system and charging controller simplifying the power supply design specialized psus consider using compact high efficiency power supplies designed for small form factor pcs such as the hd plex gan 250w psu which can provide ample power in a small package you have the dc dc atx psu these power supplies can convert a single dc input typically 12v or 19v into all the voltages required by a standard PC motherboard. This allows you to power your cyber deck from a single battery source. You have the modular approach for smaller cyber decks based on low power SBCs like Raspberry Pi. You can use a combination of power banks with pass through charging and DC DC converters to power both the main board and peripherals like screens. Then you have the portable battery solutions. Some companies offer specialized battery packs designed for portable gaming systems, which could be adapted for cyber decks for example you have the nikos power pack for a steam deck uh, provides over an hour of extra play time and could inspire similar solutions for custom cyber decks so when designing your power solution consider factors such as total power draw required voltages portability and charging options it's also important to ensure proper power management and cooling for your specific cyber deck configuration so how can you choose the right single board computer, the SBC, for your cyber deck? So choosing the right single board computer, SBC, for your cyber deck involves several con uh, considerations to ensure it meets, it meets your specific needs. And here are they, right? Number one, purpose and use case. General use, if you need a versatile SBC for general computing task. The Raspberry Pi 4 slash 5 is highly recommended due to its user-friendly nature, extensive community support, and wide range of accessories, specialized tasks for tasks requiring higher performance or specific features like AI projects or media centers. Consider boards like the Droid N2 or the Orange Pi 5, which offer more powerful CPUs and GPUs. Two, performance requirements, right? CPU and GPU. Uh, assess the processing power needed for your applications. For instance, AI projects or heavy computational tasks may require a more powerful CPU or and GPU combination. RAM, more RAM allows for better multitasking and handling of larger applications. Boards like the Raspberry Pi 4 offer up to eight gigabytes of RAM, which is suitable for most applications. Then you have connectivity and IO options, USB ports, ensure the S you know the SBC has enough USB ports for your peripherals keyboard mouse external storage networking if you need robust network cap uh, capabilities look for boards with multiple Ethernet ports or advanced Wi-Fi capabilities you have the GPIO pins for projects involving hardware interfacing ensure the SBC has sufficient GPIO pins you have the power consumption and supply portability if your cyber deck is intended to be portable consider the power consumption of the the SBC and the type of battery it requires. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.